Hi there! So I'm actually in Tampa right now, and my brother's doing more library conference things, but I thought now would be as good of a time as ever to finally catch up on my other travel videos. After Hawaii, I went to LA, and Arlene picked me up at the Amtrak station, and then we went to the Japanese American National Museum. And going in, I think Arlene thought it would be a cultural kind of museum with happy, cute things like anime, but when I saw Japanese American, I had a feeling it was going to get into kind of heavy stuff. And it was some pretty heavy stuff. There was a lot of information about the concentration camps. And there were a lot of times I was ready to cry. But I really appreciated that experience. And if you're ever around, I definitely recommend checking it out. In addition to that, the museum celebrated contributions of Japanese Americans to modern American society, so that was pretty cool. After we finished at the museum, we went back to Arlene's house, watched a little bit of the Great British Bake Off, and I took a nap because I was pretty beat. Oh my gosh, the John Mayer concert. I knew I would enjoy it, but I didn't know how much I'd enjoy it. And it was super funny because the whole time there was this guy behind me who was super stoked about John Mayer. And he'd be like, bro, can you believe that? It's just him and his guitar. Yeah, that fanboy was me inside. <laughs> so he went through some of his old classics. And then also he was able to poke fun at himself. All they do is talk about you. And the song said, what's wrong with me? Well, nothing's wrong with you, but that's the only thing they know. So we didn't talk for a while, went our separate ways. I wrote some other song, met some other people, said some other things. And then not long ago, I would say about two years ago, I ran into this song, Out in the World. And it was looking pretty good. It turned out that over time it maybe had morphed from being a silly college frat house kind of song and representing some kind of innocence in my life that I'll never get back again. Because let me tell you something, you have to be very innocent to write a song called Your Body Is A Rock. might go down in history as being a little silly. But I'm gonna sing it to you right? without any silliness at all. I'm gonna sing it with this intense sincerity. Yes, it has the phrase bubblegum tongue in it. And my mom even didn't say that one from the heart. And I even know that you guys in some way are gonna dance and sing along to it ever so slightly ironically and that's okay. That's what you're allowed to do in your past. You're allowed to ironically celebrate your past. So let's do it. Gentlemen, you look at the guitar, hang tight. Hang tight for the years of this. Discovery, discovery, 
Yeah, it was really fun. I also posted two full clips of some of the songs he did because those are very near and dear to my heart. The whole time I was watching, I was recording like this while trying to enjoy it. <laughs> it probably did detract a little from the experience, but I loved it. And now I can watch it over and over again.
basically it for LA. I will be working on the Farms Day video, but yeah, catch you on the flip side.